more than 400. These arise due to fertilizer runoff, largely from livestock, contributing to the lack of oxygen, which is necessary to support life. Now we have also a record hit. The past decade has twice at least seen the hottest average annual temperatures ever recorded in our planet's history. In 2003, a record heat wave hit Europe, claiming tens of thousands of lives. Heat waves also preceded the worst wildfires ever in Australia's history. Next, storms increasing. The intensity and duration of hurricanes and tropical storms have been noted to increase by 100% over the past 30 years, with scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in the USA, say is likely due to climate-related increases in ocean temperature. Next, we have wildlife disappearance. Leading ecologists say that uh, the decline of wildlife due to species extinction is so rapid that there is no modern comparison. Scientists also now predicted that the Earth's 16,000 endangered species may become extinct 100 times faster than previously thought. Next, we have drought desertification. In Nepal and Australia, Wildfires this year have been severely intensified by drought conditions. In Africa, people in Somalia, Ethiopia and Sudan, to name just a few, have been crippled by drought. According to the United Nations, desertification, which often results from felling too many trees, and damages that occurs from such activities as cattle grazing is affecting the well-being of more than 1.2 billion people in more than 100 countries at risk. Precious freshwater supplies are also drying up, such as uh, aquifers under the major cities of Beijing, Delhi, Bangkok and dozens of other regions such as the Midwestern United States while the river Ganges, Jordan, Nile and Jiangsu have been reduced to a trickle for much of the year. In China, worst drought in five decades, vital crops were lost in at least 12 northern provinces costing the nation billions of U.S. dollars in drought relief to farmers with losses. Next, we have human health problem. According to Swiss-based research, climate change is already responsible for some 315,000 deaths a year, with another 325 million people who are severely affected. This comes in addition to an economic loss of 125 billion U.S. dollars every year. The worst affected 
are developing nations in Africa with uh, other very threatened areas being uh, in South Asia and small island nations. problem but we have solutions to this problem it might not be that early but it's still not too late we still can rescue our home planet home okay number one solution is vegan organic vegan veganism will save our world. I will report to you one by one how vegan would save our world. Luckily, there are easy actions we can take. I will list them for your reference. Now, many of these areas where we are seeing such devastating effects of climate change, such as Arctic melt, land sinking, water shortage uh, from glacier melt and even storms increasing are all directly related to the Earth's temperature increasing. So we must cool the planet first and foremost. And the best way to stop global warming is to stop producing the greenhouse gases that create the heat. Logical, no? Yes. We already know about the efforts to reduce emissions, such as from industry and transportation. But changes in these sectors are taking too much time, more than we can afford at this rate, at this hour. One of the most effective and fastest way to reduce the heat in the atmosphere is to eliminate methane production. Methane not only traps up to 72 times more heat than carbon, it also goes away from the atmosphere much faster than CO2. So if we stop producing methane, the atmosphere will cool more quickly than if we stop producing carbon dioxide. See what I mean? Organic vegan will produce beneficial cooling effects as it will cut down methane and other greenhouse gases which are fatal to our survival. We can start by cutting down on the biggest methane producer in the world, that is animal raising. So to cool the planet most quickly, we have to stop consuming meat in order to stop the livestock raising industry and thus stop greenhouse gases, methane and others toxic cases from animal industry. If everyone in the world would adopt this simple but most powerful practice of an animal-free diet, then we could reverse the effect of global warming in no time. We would then have time to actually be able to adopt longer-term measures such as more green technology to also remove the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. In fact, if we neglect to stop meat production, either all these green efforts will be cancelled out in effect, or we might lose the planet before we even have a chance 
to install 